though we are using the DOS emulator DOS box. Now you will need the homebrew channel, so if you don't already have that, you can go check out one of my other videos. Then come back to this one when you're done. And you'll also need an SD card. I'll be using a 2 gigabyte. And this is optional, but you can also use a USB keyboard and a USB mouse. Uh, before we get started, just to let you know that this does run incredibly slow on the Nintendo Wii. And DOSBox doesn't support uh, networking or the DVD drive. So this is kind of useless, but it's still kind of neat and impressive. So let's get started. Alright, first you insert the SD card in your computer. Alright, you can just follow the link in the video description and download the DOSBox Wii pack. Alright, once it's finished downloading, you can just right click and extract it with WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. Next, you can go to your uh, SD card, then drag and drop everything from the DOS box we pack to your SD card. And click yes. Copy and replace if you have that. And you can remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into your Wii. And you can go to the Homebrew channel. And then go to Multi Mod Manager and load. Then go down to WAD Manager. Then go down to DOSBox Wii Forwarder and press plus on the Wii Remote. And then press A. And then press A to install it. Then once it's finished installing, you can go back by pressing B and then press home to exit. Right, you can press home and exit to the system menu. Right, then you can go over and there should be a new DOSBox Wii channel. Well, forwarder that has the Windows 98. should load DOSBox, and there you go, and then it should load Windows 98. I would recommend uh, booting into safe mode, so you can press home and go to keyboard if you don't have a USB keyboard. And just to show you guys how long it takes to boot up, I'm actually not going to speed up or change the the film, so...
Right, there's that cursor, that hourglass, glass, and there's the background, that safe mode. Windows is running in safe mode. You can use your Wii remote or a USB mouse to click OK. And there's the start bar and the icons. So let's start by running paint. There you go, Microsoft Paint. And exit. And next, let's try WordPad. WordPad. And exit. And then when you're done, you can just shut it down like you would normally. And start and shut down. Apparently shutting it down may cause a crash, so you just restart your Wii. And then if you want your Wii to automatically load uh, Windows 98 when you first turn it on, you can hold down the reset button. If you've installed Preloader, it should load. Then you can go down to load slash install file. And then go down to dosboxweed.dol. And it should install it. Then you can go down to settings. And then change the auto boot to installed file. So it'll automatically boot into Windows 98, which is your DOS box, which is the installed files. And then don't forget to save. And then you can shut your Wii off and turn it back on. And as you can see, it automatically loads DOSBox in Windows 98.